with another video in this video it's gonna be a bit of a chilled video I'm going to take a little bit of my time and also my presentation is gonna be a bit more relaxed and comfortable maybe it's because um, I'm getting the hang of things or you guys um, as people who are watching my videos subscribing and liking you are making me more comfortable now I'm starting to be more of myself in the videos you never know but what I think um, might be the reason behind the the chilled kind of a vibe will be this video is going to be different what I'm going to attempt is to create this user interface this page and this one only in 30 minutes is that possible to be honest i also don't know but i want to finish this um uh, task or challenge and then after that i also want to look at the video and reflect on it that will mean that i'm going to do a follow-up video reflecting on this challenge what i've noticed and also what i think about the whole challenge am i going to make it in 30 minutes is 30 minutes um too small or it's a ample amount of time given this task i also don't know i'm also interested in knowing that so um let's just go to page one so this is um the page i've already saved everything on one folder the assets and the SVG, everything is in one folder. So this just means that uh, when I'm doing this video, I'm not going to explain much. I'm not, I because there is no time for me to step back and pause and then try to explain to you what I'm doing. But however, in my approach, even in work environment as a graphic designer, I was never a guy who's always in a rush. Even if I have to be a rush, I always do things uh, normally the best way I know how since I believe that um, he has time who has no rush or pressure. So that's my philosophy. So as much as I'm going to chillax and do, um, and do myself and be myself, um, I'm not going to explain much. I'm just going to cut straight uh, to the point. Obviously, I will be talking and explaining as I'm coding, but I think... It's going to be 90% of the time, it's going to be some sort of thinking out loud rather than telling you what I'm doing. However, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Um, I'm pumped up. I'm ready. I want to see also the result. Um, my countdown is ready without wasting time. Let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so this is my timer set up to uh, ui in 30 minutes this is 30 minutes i'm going to start it when we are ready let's just minimize um, this is visual studio code we've got the asset folder that has got all the svgs as in the previous video we we we, we were exporting everything to this folder and also i've got my file here that has got some colors and everything that i might use um, I think I'm ready and I'm good to go. It's a, it's a bit scary and exciting at the same time because I don't know how is it going to turn up. I never done this before so, before, so it's going to be my first time. So without wasting time, let's start the timer. Let me just breathe in and out for some time. Okay. Okay. Now let's start the timer and let the game begin in case i got disturbed what i'm going to do i'm just going to pause the video and i will then uh, continue later i can't afford to lose this recording so let's get to it three two one are you ready <sighs> let's go Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a new file style.css and then I'm going to link uh, that style. I'm going to link that style. Uh, okay. I'm going to link that style, style sheet type href. Okay, let's say style dot CSS. 
okay um done with that i will test other things later because we don't have time let me i have closed okay here is my ui okay this is what i'm starting with i've got a div with two divs okay the left and right so let me just call this div uh, login let's just jump straight to it okay I think I need to familiarize myself with uh, a lot of shortcuts. Let's see dot login. Okay, D with a class of login, and then I've got a login left, and then that means this is the left uh, div, and then I've got login right. And then I'm just going to change here. Okay, I will come back to check if the CSS has been linked and it's working. Yeah properly uh, later because now we really don't have time and then inside the left div i want an image and the src to that image is assets forward slash uh, svgs forward slash i forgot the name of uh, that shape let me just check it here so curve shape okay forward slash curve shape okay done with that um what else let's go to the right section go to the right section a uh, reference to our user interface we've got um some one two three elements and these ones i will have to group them in one element okay so let me go and add an image okay an img this image will have an an id because it will be unique because this will be let me just say logo because this id will be the only thing this logo i'm not going to do it as a class because i'm not gonna group it under other uh with other html elements and then from then i have got um i have got Okay, two input the text and the password and the group. Okay, let me say input and then it's going to be text and also this one. Let's make it a class. Okay, class of input. Okay, it's going to be a class of input and let me give it an ID in case I want to only select this one and say txt user name and then i'm gonna copy this and then uh, the type of this input is text and this one is going to be password okay now let me create a class of btn group in that btn group i'm going to have um, let's say um, the divs with a class of btn primary and also btn secondary the btn primary is going to be login and btn secondary btn secondary btn secondary is going to be register okay I think I'm done with all the elements. I forgot these uh, these words. Okay, let me say where is it? Is it on the left? Um, on the left, on the left. Okay, let me put it here on the left. Let me say dot um, text group group, and then in the text group, I've got H two h2 as a circular okay circular should i want to make it capital letters i will use css for that and let's just have a paragraph and then what's the thing is saying ultimate sharing control ultimate sharing control hope the spelling is right Okay, now let's check what's the time. Okay, continue. Let me just go to my CSS. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to say um, 
okay dot btn primary there is no time to test if things are working i hope this was the spelling for btn primary remember i said i've got my test things here where i test the the width and height of things of which let's just check for btn primary and see this we copied it directly from figma i'm just experimenting here to see if um these this width and height might uh, look proper and then if it's a btn primary how it is it has got a color of brown and that's it okay let's just quickly um do our variables okay what i want to do here i want to say um color primary color primary is equal to and then we will go to what we had here primary color we copy this as it is i'm sorry that i am not testing these things so that you can also see do i have a color secondary i don't think so i just have got red green and then i will also have white okay let me just copy this because i don't have much time to go back and forth and then I'm going to declare a second color, which is green. And then declare another color, which is red. Okay. Now, as you can see that I'm taking shortcuts, uh, but I hope this will be clearer when I'm done. Uh, this is red and this is green. I hope this will be clearer when I'm done. What I'm doing here, I'm just chasing some a uh, little bit of the code that um won't need to be tested or whatever because i don't want to waste time testing css if it can connect whereas i can quickly write things here let me also put a color uh, white let me say text white because i want to have some variables for all my colors this is a uh, text white um, this is text white and then this is uh, also uh, background uh, txt everything that is a color must always start with uh, col green okay everything that is a color must always start with col green so that i know that it's a color and this one must be red and uh, this one must be white it might start with col this is uh, wasting my time so next time i must look at it uh, txt color color background white okay i think i am done okay let me copy these as they are so that i can i'm taking much time here on these css variables Okay, color text black, black, and also color text on the background black. Okay, I've just got some CSS variables. Okay, I'm done with them. I've got a primary button. It has got the width and the the height, the background color. The background color of it is going to be var it was our primary color this is this variable name okay that will be it and the color itself the color itself it's still var the color itself it's still var but we are going to take the text white okay if we are coloring a text to white we use text white okay and then um what else okay let's just uh, leave it like this let's center everything inside a div to make sure that everything is centered is yes. or we can just uh, be clever enough let's create uh let's create center as a class we say display of flex 
okay and then um, display flex justify content so that whenever we use so that whenever we use uh, this class it can automatically center things for us align items align items center okay and then what we are going to do again we are going to take the same this one is not going to be center it's going to be um, let's say this is going to be column that means we want to display a grid in terms of column let's set the flex direction I think CSS is taking much of my time, but I hope this is going to be profitable. CSS, let's say column. That means I will be displaying. If I put this um, this uh, class, that will mean I'm displaying things column without the space in between. And then I will put a gap here. That means the first one is going to be 10 pixel. That means it will have a gap. This one is going to be... Um, column 10 that means this one is going to have a gap of 10 and this one is going to have a gap of uh, no i don't want this and this one is going to have a gap of 20. then i'm going to copy the same thing here and i don't think i will need a i will need a row i will need a row also okay i will align things as rows okay let me just copy this before I run away to quickly check and add my CSS. This is center. I don't need center. This is column. I'm going to change it to row. When I want to display things row instead of a column here. And let's say I want this to be displayed as a row. And then this is going to be row 10. The only difference will be here it's going to be row 10 and this one is going to be row 20 then i'm going to assign my css and see if everything works well and then here it's going to be row i think i'm done with my basic thing let me assign the body let me assign the body to make it background red background color to red and then i'm gonna test if my css has been da -da 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 let me just click here as a shortcut go back to xm xm 2023 this is taking much of my time setula and then i want this index you see even my extension is dot index <laughs> Okay, let me make it .html. HTML. Let's now and test things. Okay, let's test things. Time is running. I wonder how much time do I have? Let me just double click here. Yo, 15 minutes. Yeah. Nah. Good. That means my CSS has been uh, linked as you can see I've got this here okay now what I want to do let me just go to my HTML go to my HTML which container do I have okay I've got the login here okay what I want to do with the class login because it is the entire container I want the class login 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 I want the width of that class login to be 100% this is the width 100% view width and the height of it 100% 100% of the view height okay and then what I want to do to this whole thing, I want to align it. I want to align it as a row. So I must put as a row. And that's all that I want to do. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the HTML. I'm going to add also a class of row here. So I'm aligning things as a row. Let's see. 
as you can see now if i can zoom out control minus 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 as you can see that these things are on the left and these ones are on the right so let me scale uh, the image okay the image on the left 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 okay the image on the left side the image on the left side okay this is the left side where is the image this is the left side this is the text and this is the image okay now what I want to do I want to take the image which doesn't have any selector let me put give it an ID equal to curve curve shape believe me I thought this was going to be easy but now I can see it's not as easy okay now uh, the ID the ID the ID okay and also I can see that I'm in a rush the height of it let's make it the height to be 100% view height and then um, I assume that da, 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 it will scale proportionally. Okay. So now the problem that we have is you can see that we've got an automatic border around our thing. So we can remove that by going to our CSS and then selecting uh, all the universal selector. And then what we are going to do with the universal selector, we are going to say padding. Uh, why it's not uh, okay my padding is wrong padding zero this is wrong padding zero pixel margin zero pixel because html automatically comes with a certain amount of padding padding zero pixel margin zero pixel what else i will check other things uh, later and then as you can see this happens because there is uh, something there we don't mind about that as you can see I've got the view so what I want to do now I want to align this to the left so what I'm going to do I'm going to go here to that image okay first of all the login container must be position relative relative so that it can uh, everything can be uh, adjusted relative to it and the curve shape position position relative so that I can be able to move it the left of it the left attribute to zero pixel so that it can move to the left uh, da, 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 da. it's not moving to the left okay what I want to do also, let me go to the login. The login has got the width and the height and it has got um, display effects. Okay, then now let's see. This login, um, let's say flex, the flex of this login must be equal to one. Uh, the flex must be equal to one and the flex of the right side because they are sharing this screen 50 50 percent so i've got this class so the flex of this class because it's a child of login also the flex of this class must be one so that these guys can share the screen equally as you can see now they are sharing the screen so this part will take 50 percent that's what one means and this one will take 50 percent this happens because this thing is here so what we are going to do we are going to take we are going to take this uh the text part of it this is the login right no i want the login left <sighs> let's check the time only nine minutes uh, and i'm too far okay let's see um login row let me just check i'm looking for the text group okay what i'm going to do with the text group i'm going to make sure that it's um, the text group it's 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 position absolute 
position its absolute so that it can jump out of the the dom tree as you can see that we don't even see where it is and we don't mind about that now what we are going to do uh, what we're going to do now it's out of the dom tree um, how do we position it um, in the center um, it's a child of what let me just check okay okay to avoid um, pushing it and it has to jump out of the tree let's let us make it a child of that curve it can be a child of that curve okay let's make its parent what is the parent of this log in left so the parent of this it's log in left okay the parent of this text let's make this parent relative let's make sure that log in left log in left position is relative so that we can position so that we can position this guy relative to okay position left so that we can position this relative to this so let's just see where it is now now that we have uh, Okay, I think it's somewhere there, but we don't see it. Okay, I think what I can do, I'm happy with this side. Let me quickly uh, fix this side so that I can see something. Or well, the other thing, my displaying is it's 50%, so let me make it 100% uh, so that I can see things clearly. Um, okay, I'm happy with this. Then let me work on these guys, okay? These guys here on the right, um, these guys here on the right, close this these guys here on the right i must uh, display them in in column so i've got a class that does that i already uh, declared it before just want to make sure that it's call yes i've got a class that does that and i also want a class that has got a little amount of space which is 10 between them let's look if that is going to take an effect as you can see automatically that is taking effect 10 feels like it's small let's choose the one that is 20 so this is the importance of having uh, classes to do your own thing and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to check first of all i've got a class that is called input somewhere here do i have that a class called input yes a class that i'm going to use to style all my inputs and then let me just go uh, input okay let me go to my uh, document that I got on Figma let me test the size of these uh, input text input they were having this width and height okay mm -mm 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 -mm. go back so on input let me make it that width and height let's see that change quickly so this is the width and height according to Figma. As you can see, it's uh, a bit bigger, but for now, we don't really mind much. Login and register. Okay, let me just quickly work with login and register. Remember, login and register, we've got uh, BTN primary. I think um, BTN primary. I'm supposed to also have BTN secondary, but let me just quickly test BTN primary for now and see if it works. Um, let me where is the button btn primary let me give it a class oh okay btn primary the spelling was wrong let me just take this one the one that i've copied there btn secondary okay let's see as you can see that uh, btn secondary is taking place um, also the the sizes i'm not happy with but it's fine because we are getting there let me first uh, remove the the red color because we don't need it uh, so that we can feel like we are making a progress okay let me just um go to my input ah, only got four minutes okay Okay, what I'm going to do now, I need to be clever. Let me edit my things here on HTML. Okay, let me edit my things on HTML. Maybe it might happen these things are big. The BTNs and input things, they are big because... Where is my input? Okay, that's not a problem. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to code in here. This is how I'm going to code in here. Where is my CSS style? Where is my CSS style? 
I want the height of the inputs to be something like this. I can be happy with this. This one doesn't work for me. Okay. Let's make it like this. And I want um, border. Okay, border radius. Border radius, okay, border radius of, uh, okay, if the height is 43, let's make border radius of 20 and see, okay, let's make it 22, I think that's circular, happy with that. Okay, uh, what else on the input placeholder? Placeholder. Uh, okay. Uh, do I put a code on the placeholder or? Let me just say username. This is taking my time. But if it doesn't work, I will leave it. It's fine. I will type it later. I don't really copy this copy all declarations and then go to my input replace this with this go back again let's see how this looks like i think i'm happy with this put some margin let me check the time two minutes okay let me just go to my buttons my button primary my button primary and then let me well i think the height here was what for the same thing i think this height is fine okay and this one is fine also and then the border radius And the border radius of um, if the height is 43, let me make border radius of 22 pixels. Okay, and then we just need to copy this, copy all declaration, border primary. This is on number 16 in our HTML. Okay, control G and say 16, line number 16. Then I'm gonna replace all that with this. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to our buttons and I'm going to add a class of center so that everything can be centered. I might as well also add it here. Let's check how our button looks. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think from here we can create a copy of uh, BTN secondary. BTN secondary. Everything will remain the same except the color. The color for the background it's going to let me just copy this as it is the color for the background it's going to be white so it's going to be the color da, 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 background white because it's a background and the actual color of the text is going to be the color of the text is going to be primary and then we need border that means the border around the border is going to be solid and then the color will be the text primary i want this this is my color of the border so the, the, the size of the border let's make it one pixel solid one pixel let's just refresh and see okay let me change this to secondary btn secondary and then as you can see that um, the buttons are aligning time is up let me just fix this the buttons are aligning vertically they are stacked vertically so in order for me to change that let me go to the buttons um, go to the buttons buttons the group buttons and let me add i'm going to align these um as a row and a row with a gap of 10. okay a row with a gap of 10 and let's see okay time is up guys let's see um 
what we came up with this is how our html looks like i don't think we have added a logo there that's fine so that's the only thing that we we didn't add um, in terms of the button um, the arrangement and the layout uh, somewhat there at least uh, we, we can see where we are going but obviously as you can see we are too far from what we were hoping for but um, at least um, I've, I've tried what, what I could and then um, in the remaining uh, time I'm just gonna continue and then um, try to fix things up and try to finish things as quick as I can so what I'm going to do now i'm just going to to finish up let me just uh, go back to my timer and start another last 30 minutes uh, da, 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 da. okay delete it okay let me just see if i can add here 30 and then save this will be my cut off time okay let me just for a bonus let me just chase that again okay um what i'm looking for now okay let me check what i want to do i don't see the text here the color of the text which is but in btn secondary let's continue and chase it again the color of the text btn secondary it's white i don't want that because it's only the background that must be white go and refresh okay that is it i'm happy with this and then i want to take all the buttons all the buttons are uh, the btns the btns the btns do they have a class called btn no they don't have um okay 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 let me change it here let me change it here uh where are our btns our btns yeah can i have a yeah let me have a class called btn a button okay let me have a class called button and then when you hover over a class of button okay the the cursor must change to a pointer okay the cursor must change to a pointer let's see that okay i didn't assign a class of button in these buttons okay assigning that class here then when we are done with this we're going to go back to the left side and solve the problem that we had as you can see that Okay, I'm happy with this. First of all, let's just quickly solve uh, this logo thing here. What happened to our logo? Did we add it or we forgot? Okay, let's just... Uh, this is the right. This is the logo. Okay, I forgot to um, edit assets. Okay, um, SVG. And then, uh, was it logo or was it identity primary logo? Okay, I forgot to put it there. Refresh as you can see here is it. Do I have a unique identifier? Yes, I have and that is a logo. Let me set the height of that logo. Um, da, 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 da. Identifying uniquely selecting that logo. Uh, uniquely selecting that logo. Okay, and changing the height to let's say 100 pixels and let's see how it looks like i'm happy with this um, let's look at our design okay i think there's a little bit of room there's a little bit of room that we need in our in our right here if we can change uh, this if we can change what this gap our gap is too small so if the gap can be would 30 be too much let me see 30 
okay let's look at the reference 30 i think 30 will be too much let's make it 25 so what we're going to do we're going to go to our css and make another row another another class another class which will be 25 which will be 25 and the gap here will be 25 it looks like gap 20 is also 10 i forgot to change that so maybe gap 20 does work let me see if in column i didn't do the same thing even here in column gap 20 is also 10 let's just quickly check there and see okay i think this looks fine for me now let's come back here and uh see what we can do with um first of all let's inspect and try to find the whereabouts of that text the whereabout of a text group okay let's uh, add text group okay let me add the color to the text group let me make it red let me make it red so that i can easily see it let me say the top position of red make it 50 pixel because the position is absolute and then um, the left of it and let's make it 50 pixel 50 pixel the problem with absolute is that it moves uh, things to a different location okay so what i want to do now let me set the z index the z index to three okay as you can see that it was underneath so now that i've set the z index now it's starting to 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 come forth so let me just copy this as it is copy all the relation and then come back to number 123 okay control g 123 and then copy and paste this okay and then in terms of colors let's make this a variable color variable color white but a text colorable txt why you don't see color black black okay color black white do i have txt white okay here is it okay i want to make this this okay and then in terms of the top let me make it 50 percent in terms of the top okay guys i'm back i had to pause the video because there was a major disturbance anyway let's continue but now the problem my time has already ran for those uh, couple of minutes i was attending someone okay um let's just jump straight to it let's see where we are i think i'm happy with this uh color text group the color okay let's just yes and the position okay okay what i wanted to do i wanted to first of all let me just go universally and change all my fonts to uh, font family to Arial. remember on 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 figma i said i don't really mind much about the fonts i knew that i was going to choose this font family okay then let's go back to the very last text group okay um what i want to do here okay i was thinking of making this 50 percent 50 percent and this one 50 percent it's more like i'm centering like i'm centering it 50 percent 50 percent let's see where is it going to move okay it's moving 50 percent to the center of the screen as if um as if as if as if the parent of this as if the parent of this group which is this one doesn't have a position because if this parent has a position it's supposed to move to be centered according to the parent does login left has got a position even if it's relative it doesn't have let me put that position relative because what what that does position relative okay relative okay let me set it again position relative
okay as you can see the position relative now okay guys i'm back and i'm facing a lot of uh disturbances what i'm going to do i'm just going to position this and then we are going to call it a day because now um i take time and uh, my mind will shift from this to that and then i will forget where i was but i think now i know that what we did we have positioned the parent of this uh, child to uh, to relative so that it can be a determining box for the position of this so before we forget that let's quickly check um, the style sheet it's on on line one so we are just going to copy this uh, copy all declarations copy all declaration go visual studio uh, control g go to number one enter um this is not number one let me just scratch this and see where is this style okay this is supposed to be number one and number eleven okay fine let's do another way of searching for things i think now i'm starting to panic a little bit even though i might think that i'm not panicking okay let's just uh, don't mind uh not always uh, things go according to what you want so what i'm going to do now i was looking for login left let me copy this and then what i'm going to do i'm going to find and then put it like this it's not i don't get oh it's not there it's not there at all that means i will have to put it uh it's not there at all and then position relative and then what i'm going to do why it's showing this okay position relative and terminate i think that's all let's just refresh and see what's there okay let me go to my cookies settings cookies settings cookies uh cookies and let me just clear the browser to see okay let me just go back to secular okay my browser is slow okay what i'm going to do now i'm just gonna um end the video here obviously um my mental state shifting from one task to another it's um, a bit exhausting and also you lose focus but otherwise um this is what i came up with obviously not in that exact time on the dot not 30 minutes but um, i hope you have uh, learned a thing or two um on this uh, challenge and in the next video i'm going to reflect on this challenge all the things that i've noticed and what's the takeaway from it otherwise for me matthew singati thanks for watching see you on the next one